Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 23 and today we are going to look at the not filter selector okay and so far we have covered so many things and today we are going to focus on not filter and before we jump into the code I want you to download the jQuery from this URL and download the uncompressed version because we are in the development stage once you have the file you need to import that file into your project directory and from there you need to reference it into the head section of your HTML document then you write some JavaScript code saying hey document dot ready function which says you know once a document finish loading it's going to execute some JavaScript jQuery code and now let's look at the mockup what we have we have two h2 elements at the top and one h2 element at the bottom we also have two div tags and each div tag contain three paragraphs and uh, for the regular base uh, check like if jQuery is working fine we are selecting all the h2 elements to see how the jQuery is responding and indeed it works fine and so jQuery is good so all h2 is there <clears throat> now today we are going to look at the not so what is not not is something which negates your you know uh, current selection whatever you are trying to select it makes the opposite of that within the given scope so let me write that thing down first so the things will become easy for you to understand so I'm saying I want to apply this not on the all paragraph tags so I'm defining my scope that this will this not will apply only on the paragraphs so other elements like h2 and they won't get affected okay so we are totally dealing with the paragraphs that's why this one okay <clears throat> now next over here I'm saying uh, I want to select paragraph and I want to select only the first element so if you look at this closely what I'm saying over here is that jQuery first find me all the p tags and within that I want to find only the first element and so it's an obvious thing that jQuery is going to find me the first element and outside there is a negation condition so which is going to reverse that and what you will see is it is going to select all the elements except the first one so you see so over here this line means jQuery should select this element and when I say negate not it does the opposite of that it does not select the paragraph 0 and it selects rest of the others now over here it only works with the paragraphs because the scope is defined now what if I go like this if I remove the scope and now let's see what's happening so you need to be very very careful so let's see the damage so you can see the damage what's happening right so this is not good so that's why I have mentioned over here it reverse your selection within the scope over here I have not given any scope so we had the damage now <clears throat> let's do some fun uh, let's take this guy out and let's say uh, we are negating the situation and by saying odd okay so what exactly I'm saying over here is I'm saying that I want to select all the odd elements within these paragraphs and outside it's a negation so it's an obvious thing it's not gonna select the odd ones it's gonna select the even ones so let's see that so you see it is selecting the even ones because over here I said select the odd and then negate okay so now let's reverse that even okay and I'm going to bring the same old pa page back and I'm gonna do the refresh here so now these selections will be gone and it was gonna select the odd ones so let's see you get it right so this is how the knot works so knot is pretty interesting there are a lot of things you can do with knot so whatever you do please comment below and let me know right so I hope this helps and let's see where we are so we are done with knot up next we are going to look at header so thank you for watching this good night and take care